Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jamal Hackett. Today guys, I am in Trinidad. Um, I just came back from Tobago actually, which is the sister island <clears throat> of this beautiful, beautiful nation. Um, guys, today it has been raining quite a bit. We are in the tropics. Um, we are near the equator, so it has been raining quite a bit. And I am also in the wet season here, so just keep that in mind. Now, mind you, it's been a great time here in Trinidad and Tobago go but we're in the wet season it's been raining um, the Sun has come out just at the perfect time for me when I needed it um, other than that guys you may hear some drizzling in the back or dripping it's rain um, or that noise whatever that is um, cars passing by I wanted to do it outside I was gonna do it in a more scenic area but unfortunately it's raining so I can't so and today is my second last day I'll be here so um, I promised to make you guys a video and here I am. But guys, today I am excited because I will be bringing you some basic tips on traveling. This is my really my first ever trip, I would say. Um, I'm 23 now, so I would love to travel more, especially after experiencing such a wonderful time here. But I wanna travel more, guys. But just some basic tips um, when traveling that's helped me on this trip to bring. Um, just some FYIs. So yeah, guys, we're gonna get right into it. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share, guys. We're gonna get right into it. Alrighty guys, so my first tip to you here, my first quick tip to you here is making sure you are prioritizing bringing your colognes. You want to bring your colognes, guys, because you want to smell good irrespective of the country you go to. Um, just a quick tip here. With the colognes now, you want to consider sizing. With the full-size bottles, you're going to have to put that into checked luggage, your full luggage. But if you want to bring your samples of colognes, I brought many, many colognes with me. So I brought a lot of them in the sample format, and so that could go on onto my carry-on or to my um, little handbag that I have. Those can go onto my handbags or my carry-on, the smaller sizes. But if you want those larger size colognes, the full bottles, they're gonna have to go into checked luggage. Also guys, if you wanna take your full size colognes but you don't have a smaller version of it, you can just simply decant it, okay, into a smaller bottle. Alrighty guys, so the next quick tip I'm going to give you when traveling abroad is making sure you're maintaining and keeping up with your hygiene, okay? Especially your face care guys, AM, PM, face routine, or whatever you guys do, maintain it, keep it, even if you travel abroad. I know you're excited, but you still want to look your best, especially when going to another country, guys, okay? So, um, T. Hanley is one I love and I've talked about in the past. I've made a whole video on them, all their products, literally fits um, all the ones I have all the three levels and all the three systems fits the capacity for um, actually putting it onto your carry-on so it's perfect in that regard but other than that guys making sure you're doing your face routines um, keeping up with your face hygiene basically guys through teach Hanley preferably I would suggest um, especially it does have AM moisturizer which does have SPF in it so if you're going to a hot country especially now you're going to want to put it on in any country, but especially if you're going to a country where it gets a lot of sun, you're going to want that protection, okay? Alrighty guys, so the next quick tip is going to be bringing extras of things, especially socks, underwears, shoes, bringing thick and thin clothes, guys. You're going to want to make sure you bring some thick and thin clothes, doesn't matter what, co what country you're going to. <coughs> 
if it's really hot or if it's really cold just because you don't know when you'll need to take off a layer or add a layer guys i was coming um, from tobago on a boat today and that ac was blasting guys it was blasting and thankfully i brought a little jacket a little top kind of like, like, like a sweater and it worked out perfectly guys had i not brought that because i was thinking should i bring it it's a hot country had i not brought that i would have felt really really cold on that um cruise on the way to Trinidad so and it was very cold in there guys trust me um, so you always gonna want to bring a extra layer or a sweater or something or um, bringing something lighter doesn't matter what country you're going to guys okay um, another thing is again extra of socks shoes and underwears guys sometimes these things can go missing or get um, mismatched especially if you're going with a lot of people um, and you can be excited when taking everything out and you know sometimes these things can get lost um, while you're staying wherever you're staying and so making sure you bring extra of these just so it lasts you um, the duration of your trip um, especially if you're going to be going for quite a while I've been I'm gonna I'm been gone for around nine ten days now um, and so I thought I brought like seven pairs of underwears I brought several different pairs of socks um, I brought so many pairs of shoes now I haven't worn all of them I must be honest but guys it is is um I guess satisfying to know that I have them there if I wanted them okay alrighty guys now I know I said um, that I brought extras of things or to bring extras of things but generally those things were fairly lightweight underwears socks fairly lightweight things guys but for shoes that's something I personally prioritize you don't have to bring as many I think I brought like four or five pairs of shoes which is quite a lot but that's something I personally prioritized okay that's something I wanted to do um, but you do not have to bring as many shoes um, three pairs of shoes will probably suffice um, I brought some sandals and slippers as well um, but guys making sure you're aware of the weight capacity so for your main luggage I believe the weight capacity is 50 pounds um, for the carry-on you're gonna want to do around 22 pounds around 22 pounds for the carry-on I believe um, is the max for the carry-on 22 pounds and then for the main luggage is 50 pounds so you're gonna be want want to be aware of these things guys when packing okay so certain things you may prioritize other things you may um, not prioritize but whatever it is guys you have to reach um, I would say reach the capacity or get close to the capacity at least I think I got to like 49 um, on my main luggage and like I hit 22 on the dot um, on my carry-on so just be aware of that guys now one other thing I do want to suggest to you guys one other tip I want to give you is to make sure when bringing Bringing certain jewelry guys watches and stuff and depending on the country you're in you want to make sure you're aware of certain neighborhoods and certain areas that may not be as safe here in Trinidad I have been told I have a lot of family here so I have been told certain areas where I may not want to wear this watch okay or where I may not want to wear this ring alrighty and so you have to be weary of the different places and locations you're around when wearing jewelry okay especially if it's real um, so you want to be aware of that guys be aware you don't want to risk um, dying or getting seriously injured um, because of a piece of jewelry guys so just be aware of that alrighty guys so my last and final tip is going to be instead of folding your clothes you want to roll your clothes when packing them into your luggage or into your um, handbags or carry-ons or whatever you're um, putting your clothes in guys making sure that they're rolled as opposed to um, folding them because rolling actually prevents more um, prevents wrinkles and rolling gives you more space in your actual luggage okay so more space for those shoes and those underwear and those socks like I've mentioned okay so generally try rolling your clothes as opposed to folding them gives more space and prevents wrinkles alrighty guys thank you so much for watching this video I know um, I wish it was in a better circumstance but guys the rain has really been pouring here and so this is my only day that I could really do this video 
though because I've been doing so much traveling on my other days but this day I definitely um, tried to allocate these few hours I've tried to allocate um, to you guys and so guys thank you again for watching it I really appreciate your support um, like comment subscribe um, I am here in um, Diggle Martin Trinidad so that is the northwestern side of the country um, it almost is it's kind of at the base of a peninsula um, outstretching west westwards but it's a beautiful beautiful country guys I do highly suggest you come here alrighty guys I had to stop the video quickly but um, thank you guys again for watching love you guys very much and I promise I will see you in two weeks guys Two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. See you guys. Have a wonderful day.